All right, after setting up the Kitura project, our next task is to actually run the Kitura server so we can go to a certain URL and start making our request. So let's remove this print line and go ahead and import Kitura. Kitura is of course a framework which allows you to run server-side Swift. Let router equals to router. So router is the main class in Kitura framework, which allows you to route different requests. And then, of course, we are going to add Kitura.add HTTP server. We are going to start the server on 8090 with the current router that we have. And then finally, I can say Kitura.run. Let's go ahead and press the play button over here and make sure that your Kitura server is running. Now, right now, we are not really using any logger, which I will actually add it later. So you will, won't see any logs printed out over here. Let's go to a new tab, localhost, and 8090. And welcome to Katura. Beautiful, right? This is actually a welcome screen, and this also confirms that your Katura server is up and running. One thing you will notice is that we didn't really know that the server was running. We actually had to kind of guess, right? That's never a good thing. So let's go ahead to our package and download another package, which will allow you to log different events that are coming from the Ketura server. That is called the Helium Logger, which is hosted on github.com slash IBM Swift slash helium, just like a helium balloon, helium logger dot git. All right. I think there's a hyphen over here. Let's go ahead and see clear swift build. And okay. And of course we didn't forgot to add a major version. So let's go ahead and do that. Major version one. So if build, and of course it's not able to clone that. Uh, maybe there's no hyphen over here. All right, so it found Helium Logger, and now it has downloaded the Helium Logger. Make sure that once you run Swift build by adding a dependency, uh, you also run Swift package generate, so Xcode knows about that dependency. All right. Now you can go back to your source file. And whenever, of course, it generates the, it kind of resets itself. Whenever it generates the Xcode file, it re, uh, resets itself. So uh, indexing again starts. But now since you have downloaded or added a dependency on Helium Logger, you can actually use Helium Logger easily in your application by importing it import helium logger and finally you can simply say helium logger dot use now if you run your server you will see that on the console it is putting out different events and those events will be very very important for you because now you know that the server is up and running and listening on port 8090 now, of course, if I go over here and refresh, I will see 8090. So that's pretty much it. Welcome to Ketura and enjoy the rest of the screencast.